<sighs> it's a new day. I slept well. And I don't know where Gwen is. I think she fell asleep at the beach. Let's see. Yeah, she's there. She's sleeping still. Anyway, hey everyone. Welcome to episode 7 of Everything Conan Exiles. This episode will be focused on construction and moving to the spot where I'm going to build my main base. But to build my main base, I will need tons and tons and tons of materials, rocks, stones, iron, steel, everything. So first I will have to build a workshop. Let's do it. Yeah, I made some arrows, whatever. Now I just want to pack all that up. Yes, everything here. And I'm gonna need my thrall. This armor adds to encumbrance, so I managed to have 94% and I can run easily. So, my thrall, my friend, let's go. We are going right here to the rhino boss spot. So it's a long trip. Okay, I'm close to the hand of creator. I believe this is how it's called. And then I'm going to follow the river all the way to the bridge. Chaos Mouth is the name of that bridge. All right. Okay, here I am. Under the bridge, there's a spider's cave over there. It's like around here. And this is an okay spot to set my uh, fishing trap traps. Um, so I guess, give me that. I will set them here. Like around here, maybe like 10 here, like 5 here, 5 there, and 5 up the stream. We'll see, we'll adjust it if it's needed. Alright, 10 here. My thrall is going loco. So they have like a area of gathering fish. So I don't want to put them here because there will be no fish caught. So I'm gonna go upstream. Right, we will see what the catch is and I'm going to, I will adjust it if needed. All right, now time to get to, oh, another cave. Well, we will visit them all for sure. almost there. I picked this place because it's uh, 
close to everything and not too far to things I need. So, well, it might be... What are you doing with your life? Uh, so it might be typical place. There is rhino boss over there and uh, it can either disappear if I build too much or it can give me some troubles ramming into my constructions. But other than that, it's an okay spot. It's very close to iron mine which I will make special, you will see what, train uh, to get iron, to get coal. There's like some coal nodes around this area and iron too. Um, well, water near, fishing. I have no weapon. So I have to be careful because there's lots of crocodiles here here we have far away the rhino boss let me find a good spot for my workshop i think this is the place there is mitra uh, statue over there and npc two ponds uh, which i'm gonna build on the night is close all right let's build i i will just you know So first of all, I've built this workshop from stone brick and it will be the first and last construction uh, from this material, stone brick. Mm, it looks pretty nice, but I will use more wood and most of all reinforced stone in the future for my main base, which will be around there. But you can see that the uh, workshop is pretty freaking big. It will have four stories, not three. But inside, you can see that there's not much room still. So I'm, I'm already thinking about expanding it, like making it wider before I install uh, advanced furnaces here. I want to fit like eight of them. So yeah, I will do some reworking probably. We'll see. And this will be my main uh, workshop with all the thralls. I will have to get more smelters. Uh, my bearer has uh, benches needed to craft more stone bricks. And like I said, I have uh, iron mine clothes. There's coal and all the materials I need around. So it's fine. That huge rhino is looking at me. Alrighty. So I made the workshop a lot bigger because I thought that even though it's uh, constructed from stone bricks, it will be my like ultimate workshop where I uh, produce all the materials from resources needed to build my main base and everything after that. I have more plans than just main base. So here is where all the magic will be happening. Don't look at it as it was the final uh, you know, position of furnaces and such. It will be all changed, but uh, the main thing is that uh, the production will be coming from the top to the bottom. 
So I will be bringing all the stones and iron ores and everything I need uh, from the top. It will be smelted, then crafted, and in the bottom there will be like service line. Uh, here is something I wanted to share, something uh, pretty interesting. I made a uh, transportation line. I call it train. Uh, of course, it's not a train. It, it will never be a train, maybe with some kind of mods, but it's just mm, horizontal uh, elevator leading me, which will lead me to the mines. And the mines are over there. If you didn't know that, this is the chaos mouth, right? And here is like gathering of stones and iron more than you need for one like go and even if you have not enough there are multiple places with tons of stones and iron here here so it's just a perfect place to gather mm, all the iron and stone and this is where this line will lead me so how i make it i got my elevator horizontal one and here's the thing this here will be a step out platform like one tile right so then we have like tons of mm, foundations and we count 30 between the step in platform to the step out platform 30 tiles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty now we need more foundation which is 21 and we have to level it up 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 and 30 and we got the pillar of course this is at the same level uh, the uh, platform stepping platform will be so it's pretty high but as we walk uh, i i've done measurements right already to the next uh, stop i make double pillars and I'm thinking of making triple because, uh, you know, if someone like from the purge or ambush, which the mod I have installed, mm, would attack the, the the construction, one pillar, one one set of stones, like you know, one tower, one tile tower, uh, or pillar, uh, would, uh, you know, you break it here and it will fall down. So, I want to be sure, and I will change from the stone to the mm, reinforced stone so it will be tough now i counted 30 tiles over there let's go there this is the next stop and you see it's not so high anymore another stop 30 tiles here will be the last sub stairs down so i can gather all the stones around but the main thing starts here, when we go up with the non-existing uh, elevator. And here is where all the magic happens. I get stairs down. Here's the first bunch of nodes. Here's more. Here's even more. More, more, more. And of course stones and some coal. And then more here. If you didn't know that, more here. Look, look. There's like tons and tons of iron here and stones. And we are in, as we call it, with Gwen Skyrim land <laughs> now. Um, and there, if we run there with Bearer, which, we, which I will have because I will have like an outpost here with the Vault. So there, if we run with uh, a Bearer, that was just a flower. There's like tons of iron over there if we still have not enough. So, of course, this only works in single player and with elevator mod. Because if not elevator mod, 
the elevators will be as slow as I am right now. So it will make no sense. So you need elevator plus mod for this link in the description below. And well, kind of single player because unless some servers allow elevator plus and other players will not ruin your, you know, elevator line to the mines or you gonna build a base here <laughs> but then it would make the iron disappear because of the lame uh, lame clan claim la land claim my goodness <laughs> i will not cut it out so like i said one more time see without the mod elevator plus this would be like this and why am i doing this if you if you don't know if you don't think well this is because i will be highly highly over encumbered going back to my workshop with all that stone and all that stuff even if i had encumbrance on max and i would be able to run at full speed with whatever weight i carry uh, then the stamina is going down real fast, so I would be stopping or walking every now and then. So this will be with 5 speed elevator. This will be just... What up? Right. All right, I'm done with... Oh, hello, little fella. Goodbye, little fella. So I'm done with mm, installing and setting distance between uh, elevators. So now I have pretty cool line, workshop, mines, mines, workshop. And let's do some tests, okay? I will get here and start from here and now we will split the screen and one of me will run to the mines and the second of me will go by elevators. Three, two, one, go. And I don't know the verdict, but I will see when I will be editing it. But I know that it's still much more faster when you go being over encumbered than if I was rolling back to my workshop. It's definitely faster than going back walking over encumbered. Done. I know that the first of me uh, was out of stamina here, so, well, we will see. I'm curious myself. All right, like I said, I will change all of that. Of course, the, the elevator to the top is here too. I will change all that to reinforced stone brick, just in case. Alright, I need some hardened steel to fix my hardened steel pickaxe. And to make hardened steel I need steel bar and some brimstone. 27 and more will be fine. Okay, next in line, what we have next in line? Next in life are, is Wheels of Pain area. I'm thinking if to make uh, the platform for Wheels of Pain either from the stone brick or wood. You know, it kind of like wood 
wood on the desert you know it paints already I think this will be a good area for two highest tier wheels of pain so I guess I'm going to get to insulated wood what do we need we need insulated wood <laughs> and yeah and iron reinforcements okay to make insulated wood I think I'm gonna make uh, another elevator line here from workshop to the wheels of pain to make insulated wood what we need we need I'm sorry for the random stuff going here but this is how it is so we need dry wood and resin so we need wood and dryer I will put it in random place because you know everything will be set when the workshop is finished so for now I'm gonna leave that wood to dry and wow this is actually pretty nice amount but yeah we are going bold so so from one piece of wood we got two units of dry wood and one resin and we need both of that to make insulated wood while the insulated wood is making I have to wait for this and iron uh, reinforcements I've started to build a roof but again iron reinforcements are needed so let's go on a little adventure first to the Mitra priest it's NPC peaceful we are going to learn an animation which will be what where is the book here score yes all right that was stupid so like I said they are peaceful so if I drop from the sky you will not do me a thing right what are you looking at <laughs> all right here's Mitra priest what 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 Hello. Blessings of Mitra upon you, pilgrim. Are you come to this land I don't know why I've already learned life? that. I don't Perhaps remember. Not. Maybe I've chosen... You have uh, maybe I picked Mitra religion at character making. Oh. Mitra comes! My God shall walk! Alright. I wanted to say that uh, Mitra religion is rather peaceful and uh, like you know calm and and set on the ground but whatever so yeah Mitra shall walk so in the den we will have like I said smelter 3 is the sure shot but I need to find it. this is the place uh, of stuttering like every single time walking through it look how my elevator line is looking from the distance so smelter 3 is the sure shot and I need blacksmith high tier of course highest possible and there are some werewolves here I call them what do we have here come on guys who are you carpenter Taskmaster 1. Oh, I have Taskmaster 3 in my mini base left. Okay, this game is 18 plus. If you are not 18 plus, don't watch it. Go away. Otherwise. Alright. You guys have something? Fantastic lag after the last patch. Okay, let me get that wer werewolf.
He's hurting. And I have no armor. Okay. But I have that meat from the monster of the first dungeon. It's pretty cool. Okay. Here. The smelter. Yes. Like I said, always tier 3. Let's get her home. Unless the blacksmith will be three. Who is you? Whoa, Talita Goldfingers. So this blacksmith is fully named. Come here, Talita. You will be my... Don't oppose. My... Come on, there's like air conditioning in my uh, workshop. You want this job. You want this. Why you want to work for werewolves? If you can work for such a nice and, you know, motivated entrepreneur like me <laughs> come on talita i know you want it um okay so i don't know what to do with my smelter i cannot have them both damn it you see this is where my dumbness is showing itself i have no wheels of pain and i went to get talita so um i think let's improvise and i'm gonna build like temporary wheel, wheel of pain so you know what i'm gonna end this episode here that elevator line took me a lot of time like two three hours and i still have to replace the, the stone to the reinforcement reinforced stone and i need to just wait hours and hours for steel reinforcement and iron reinforcement and i need like 500 of each so this will take me a lot of time which i will spend off recording of course and i'm gonna finish the roof of the recording and construct everything i will give you a tour in the next episode actually not in the next episode because the next episodes plural will be about something special i prepared and i don't know if it's special but it's something that i wanted to try and it's gonna be hectic for me for now i'm ending here thank you for watching this is gonna i'm, I'm actually the last last thought about this is that i'm pretty like happy and motivated because uh, this is where my game starts, you know. Uh, I cannot wait to build that super production ultimate workshop with mm, advanced wheels of pain and uh, my base, you know. It will be tower coming out of the pond, you will see. And then we are going with Gwen to some world boss hunting and, you know, the game starts for me. It's out of uh, newbie zone. Uh, so I'm happy about that and now from on from now on it will be just more and more interesting and more advanced Okay, maybe not interesting because I cannot promise you that I rumble, but I Promise from now on it's going to be more and more advanced in the game for the third time Thank you for watching see you in the next episode or in other videos bye Thank mm -hmm. you.